Wait, wait. Where is she? I had no choice. Beth? What happened to you? I'm not wrong. You can't... No! So, what you did next... It wasn't personal? No. Sir? Uh, are you alright? Who are you working for?! Look, I know I've kept you in the dark, but when I started my work, you were so young, and afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah. I get it. Come on. Let's just go to the future and fix this mess. Well, that's the great cab mystery of 2016 solved. I hope Nick's okay, wherever he is, or whenever, whatever. Here's the entrance. Hey, Jack, we should go inside. Shouldn't we hurry? You hid the machine here. You really never used it yourself? No, I didn't dare. Not after the man came out. It was Paul. He tried to kill me. <clears throat> Damn. Rusted shut. Jack, a hand?
One more time. When Monarch came for the time machine at the university, Paul was trapped in it. He escaped into the future. Whatever happened to him there changed him. Somehow he found my machine there and used it to come back to 1999. And found in Monarch. He escaped from Monarch and became what he escaped from. Insanity. I never should have built the machine. I should have left well enough alone. All right. Just the way I left it. Hope it still works. Yeah. All right, we'll go to the future. A little after your time of departure, before the fracture has stopped time permanently. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a little concerned about this. It'll be dangerous. Of course it'll be dangerous. At this point, what isn't? But I have been curious to try this. This is what it looks like. Hey, Jack. When we exit, it'll be a little past the point you were at when you left to save me. That's our window, when we know it can work, but before time actually ends for good. It may not be much of a window. Monarch was sure it was imminent. Huh. Like they're experts. <laughs> they kind of are. All they know, they stole from me. You worry about your end, I'll worry about mine. All right, Will. That works. This is amazing. All those years, I never imagined that it would be like this. Crap. Hang on, Will. He's here! What the hell did we do?
Forget Will, Jack. However he came to be here, he's done. It's over. What's going on, Paul? You look fucked up. Even by your fucked up standards. <sighs> you took the CFR, Jack. I took it back. I don't care how messed up you are, Paul. You're not taking it from me. I don't want it! I just want it gone. Forever. Gone? What about your survival plan? Fuck the lifeboat, Jack! We're just gonna let the clock run out on this and be done with it. night owls it's your boy bobby listen if anybody's at the protest at the riverport university i'd sure love to hear from you i'm hearing some pretty disturbing things so give me a call here at the studio i think we could all use a first-hand account of what's going down i've uh, actually tried to call some people i know down there but my calls don't seem to be getting through anyway our lines are open we'll be right back I ordered the execution of the man who I once considered to be my closest friend. I did what was necessary. In order to proceed, I need to distance myself from my past, my weaknesses. There is a simple truth that I knew Jack would never understand. I spent years trying to find a way to change the course we're on. It can't be altered. The end is coming and only I can prepare us for it. If Jack ever learned the truth, I can't risk that. I've come too far. There's somebody else opposing me. Somebody on the inside. The sickness is spreading. Visions are becoming more frequent. I'm having increasing difficulty holding on to the present. They need me to be strong. The lifeboat depends on it. I hope to God Dr. Amaral finds a more permanent solution soon. The treatments won't last much longer.